So we're now on the journey to the International Business Festival 2018. Remarkable to think we've had two festivals already in the UK. Even more remarkable to think that we've achieved over 600 million pounds worth of new business for UK PLC businesses over that period of time. So what does the festival mean for, for the UK in 2018? Well, what it certainly means is it's being backed by the government at the very highest level as one of the major post-Brexit opportunities to showcase global Britain. It's being backed by the Secretary of State for BEIS, Greg Clark, as an opportunity to showcase the industrial strategy. It's being backed by Secretary of State Liam Fox from DIT as an opportunity for Britain to, to be doing more business on the world stage. And that backing of government, allied to the backing we're getting from the CBI, from the FSB, from the British Chambers of Commerce, means I think it's going to be another huge event in the business calendar starting on the 12th of June 2018. So why would a business come to IFB if they were based in Yorkshire or Birmingham or Leeds or, or wherever? Well, um, as I said a few minutes ago in this discussion, over £600 million worth of new business created for British business. If you've come to IFB, if you're interested in any of the sectors that will be showcased over the nine days, if you want to meet venture capitalists from across the world, if you want to be part of the delegations that are coming from across the world, in 2016 we had 100 delegations from over 100 countries. In 2018, I'm confident we're going to have more delegations than that. So if you're interested in markets in the United States, or in China, or in the Far East, or in the Middle East, or in Europe indeed, because we will still be trading with Europe, then come to the IFB. If you're looking to take that next step about how do we export, where can we export to, how can we meet the, the buyer or the opportunity, we'll connect you to that opportunity. And how do I know it will be successful? I watched the deals being done in 2014 and 2016. I've seen companies from Liverpool City region, from London, from the East Midlands, from the West Midlands, from the South West, do deals with all sorts of countries across the world, creating new business, new opportunity for those companies, new jobs in this country. It's a win-win situation. And the festival is gaining huge traction. Some of the events that are coming in 2018 are the biggest in the world. The World Forum for Foreign Direct Investments, which hasn't been to the UK, I think, ever before, is one of the largest and most prestigious FDI events in the world, and it's coming to IFB, it's coming to Liverpool. So if you want to come and hear some great speakers, if you want to be part of networking with some great businesses, be in Liverpool for the festival. So the International Business Festival opens for business on the 12th of June 2018. I'm already clear from my discussions with the government right at the top that we're going to see ministers here from virtually every government department. From the discussions we've been having with, with international countries, there are going to be country after country from across the globe participating in the festival. Cities, countries, venture capitalists, businesses, chambers of commerce, organisations like Downturn and their equivalents across the world here in the UK wanting to do business. We are the second fastest growing economy in the G7. And again, from my discussions with a wide range of business people from across the world, people are looking to do more business with the UK and with the UK businesses. So that opportunity will be at your doorstep. One of the most telling comments I ever received about IFB was from Sir Terry Leahy. He said to me he wished there had been an IFB when he was starting Tesco. He might have racked up 100,000 air miles or whatever it was, but he would have saved himself a lot of time by bringing the world to the UK, rather than him having to go to the world. So be in Liverpool in June 2018, we're bringing the world to you.